Hello friends. Welcome everyone to Portraits of Fame channel. She's like the wind to my tree. She leads me to moonlight only to burn me with the sun. She doesn't know what she's done. Movie lovers perfectly remember Patrick Swayze, one of the great Hollywood heartthrobs and actors of the 80s and 90s. But the fact is that, in 1987, he also wrote and recorded a ballad that made history. Did you know that? That's what we're going to talk about today. Did you also know that this was not the only song that Patrick performed during his career? But unfortunately, the actor fell victim to a serious illness, which caused his death in just 20 months. Actresses who also co-starred with him make a great revelation. Learn all the details and more with this wonderful keepsake of the song, She's Like the Wind. But before we continue, I recommend you to subscribe and activate the bell so you don't miss out on valuable information like this today, okay? Patrick Swayze was born on August 18, 1952, in Texas, United States. He was a talented American actor and singer. Recognized for his charismatic screen presence, he has won the hearts of millions of fans across the world. Swayze began his career as a dancer, excelling on Broadway, before transitioning to film. His most memorable roles include the classic Dirty Dancing, 1987, and the action film Ghost, 1990. In addition to his remarkable acting, Swayze also showcased his talent as a singer, releasing albums, and appearing on television shows. His passion for art and his undeniable charisma have made him an enduring icon in the entertainment industry. Though he left us early, his legacy lives on, and Patrick Swayze is remembered as a talented and beloved artist. From a young age, the actor showed a great taste for the arts and, in addition to cinema, he studied dance in the best academies in the United States, standing out for his great skills. Originally, Patrick wrote for the film which was starred by actress Jamal Lee Curtis. But Patrick himself also had a small role in it. He who wrote the lyrics in early 1984 and with his guitar was composing the melody, but as he was not a specialist in tuning it, he asked his friend, composer and arranger, Stacy Weidlitz, for help, where he judged the lyrics, made some corrections and improved the song. Arriving like this, he signed as co-author of the theme. Regrettably, despite the good result, the song was not used in the final cut of the film. A couple of years later, during the filming of Dirty Dance, while choosing the final songs for the soundtrack, Patrick showed the producers a demo of his music. They liked it so much that they decided to put it in the film, but when they learned that the actor didn't sing badly, they insisted that the song should not be recorded by anyone else. They just wanted Patrick's voice on the final cut of the song. Singer Wendy Fraser also participated, whose voice is heard throughout much of the song, more specifically, in the final leather. Wendy can also be seen in the famous promotional music video for the theme. In 1987, the film, Dirty Dancing, was released. This classic starred him and actress Jennifer Grey, achieving a huge success at the box office and becoming one of the most iconic films of the 1980s. Of Love, between a young woman and a dancer, profoundly marked an entire generation and had one of the best and most remembered soundtracks in history, which was precisely one of its great songs, She's Like the Wind. A power ballad, written and performed by the film's own star, Patrick Swayze. She's like the wind through my tree. The film was a hit in 1987, and although produced on a budget of less than $5 million, it managed to gross over $215 million. An interesting detail about this classic is that the main actors, Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey, 
actually had a rather complicated relationship. Both actors had already worked together in the film, Red Dawn, from 1984 and did not get along very well. But, when they were summoned to the film, they had a friendly conversation and resolved their differences. This resulted in excellent camera tests and it was notable that they had great chemistry and laughed a lot about the situation. Reason why both were chosen. However, as the filming progressed, they again had quite intense confrontations and fights and the filming became very tense. To solve this, the producers organized a meeting with them and forced them to watch the initial camera tests several times, where they had an impressive chemistry. This trick had the effect of improving the relationship between the two actors, allowing filming to be completed successfully. Another strong point of this film was the incredible soundtrack, which became one of the most remembered in the history of cinema. The very romantic song, She's Like the Wind, reached the top 10 of many countries in the world and on the American Billboard list, its best position was third place. Contrary to what many think, She's Like the Wind was not the only song that Patrick Swayze performed in his life. He actually wrote and sang a few other songs that were used in movies he starred in. For the 1989 movie Next of Kin, he wrote the song Brother. Oh no, sir. You ain't seen bad yet. But it's coming. You've always known if anyone tried to get to you, they first have to get through me. For the film, Matador de Alugal, he also made two other songs with the song When You Dance, which was written for the 2003 film The Last Dance. It was like you knew some secret, a place you can feel. Productions such as Ghost, From the Other Side of Life, from 1990, or Chasers of Emotion, from 1991. Undoubtedly, the extensive career of Patrick Swayze is known, and therefore there is much more material to talk about his films and his biography. In this video today, we are focused only on the song She's Like the Wind. In a documentary about Patrick Swayze, they brought in front of the cameras the main actresses who played opposite the actor. Demi Moore, Ghost, Jennifer Grey, Dirty Dancing, and Kelly Lynch, Hire Killer, remember the moments of the filming in Bet That, because he was trained as a dancer, Swayze combined brute force, due to his upbringing as a cowboy from the Texas, to docility in gestures and movements. The film also collects testimonies from his brother, businesswoman, agent and widow, Lisa Nimi, with whom Swayze was married from 1975 to 2009, the year of his death, after a long battle with pancreatic cancer. The actor appeared in a fever dose patents, 1979, and, recruited by Francis Coppola, emerged in the emblematic Vida Sem Romo, 1983, sharing the scene with other debutantes, such as Tom Cruise, C., Thomas Howell and Rob Lowe, the last two have great behind-the-scenes stories. Among the revelations, one draws more attention, the perhaps hereditary bipolar behavior led Swayze to alcoholism. Sadly, in January 2008, bad news arrived for Patrick, as he was diagnosed with aggressive pancreatic cancer and it was already in the terminal stages. In some interviews, he who was a heavy smoker all his life, confessed that he smoked up to 60 cigarettes a day and stated that he firmly believed that tobacco did have a lot to do with his disease. However, he never stopped smoking and even while undergoing cancer treatment, he continued to smoke. At the time of his diagnosis, Patrick was starring in a hit television series where he played Charles Barkey, a veteran Chicago police officer. Despite the great pain he felt, he managed to finish the first season and it was so successful that he tried to record the second. But his delicate state of health did not allow it. Patrick Swayze passed away on September 14, 2009, aged 57, 20 months after being diagnosed with cancer. There, Ponce the other leg. So, you know, lifting your chest so I don't hurt your ribs. It hurts my ribs. <laughs> <laughs> When we screen tested, Emil Ardolino, the director, could see them paired together. You're in a nice position. You keep that position, and I, it's all up to me. Okay. Don't get caught together. You couldn't have picked two people better to tell the story of Dirty Dancing in terms of their chemistry together, which I remember Emil Ardolino thinking, perfect. 
but without a doubt his talent, his great films, and his beautiful song, She's Like the Wind, will continue to delight us for many more years to come. This was our video today, a simple tribute to this great actor and singer, Patrick Swayze. Well, if you found it interesting and liked the information, then take a few seconds of your time to share it with your friends and family. And don't forget that here you'll find news and stories about famous people and celebrities. A big hug. Until the next video, bye bye.